What is up guys, my name is Ray and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. So, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can obtain the new 4 star free to play weapon, the catch. So the grind for this is kinda tough because I took like 8, between 8 to 10 hours to grind for the whole weapon and yeah, let's get right into this. Before we dive into the topic of today's video, I'd like to use the opportunity to do some advertisement for the channel. So one of the biggest goals of becoming a content creator for me was to hit that 1000 subscriber mark on YouTube. We are still on the way to go, so definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, of course, if you want to support the channel and if you want to support me getting closer to my goal. Now, the next thing is, of course, if we do hit that milestone, I'm going to open up an official Discord. I already mentioned that in the past, but now I just want to like clarify that like, once again. Now, if we do hit 1000 subscribers on YouTube, there will a bigger event happen. Like in form of a stream, I will do a big announcement with giveaways and stuff like this, as well as open up the Discord so we can keep connected everybody to each other. So I know that some of you guys still try to connect to me. Um, which I do highly appreciate. I do really like like those messages that when is your next stream? What is the next video that you're bringing out? Like, can you bring this and this type of content? So I do really like the suggestions like and this connecting between like subscriber and the content creator. One more thing that I like to talk about is my official Instagram account. So if you're using Instagram and if you're interested in what I am doing outside of the content creation or what I'm preparing next for videos, what I'm doing in the background, behind the scenes of Dre Gacha Gaming, then definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram. Announcements happen there first before they would happen anywhere else. All right, and that's enough talk and advertisement, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first thing that you have to do is to talk to Catherine in Monset to unlock that new fishing feature. But after you unlock the new fishing feature, there is like this dude over here. You just gotta talk to him and follow like the quest lines. Okay, just briefly on fishing. So you just can see like those circles in the water. Just walk there and it automatically recognizes that you can fish. Then you just got to press F, choose the bait, uh, depending on the fish. And then you just can throw it with like left mouse click in the water. You really want to place it like nearly in front of the fish. And if the fish don't want or doesn't like the bait, then you won't be able to get it. But if the fish does like the bait, um, the bite then you just gotta left click again and you wanna hold like that eye kind of thingy between the threshold um as long as the timer is running and you wanna hold it between there and if the timer is full you will be able to get the fish so it's kind of self-explanatory um only certain baits work for certain fishes and yeah you really want to be um like patient with that so it doesn't work if you put it like right in front of the fish because then they will turn away but if you put it like a little bit um in front of the face of the fish but not di directly i'd say then it should work out for you but overall the whole mechanic is like as i said very self-explanatory so after you just talk to him and finish the whole quest line the first thing that i would recommend you is to get these formulas for these formulas you just can get additional baits and then you oh, for these formulas you um, just need the medaka fish you basically can find it everywhere where you can go fishing and then i would trade like each of the three copies for all of these formulas so basically you would catch nine of these fishes after you finish the quest trade it for all these baits after you receive all these baits try to craft these baits you basically can do it at the crafting table okay just a small cut here guys so there is this uh, interactive world map some of you guys might already know it if you don't know it of course i will put a link in the description down below but how it basically works is you have like all different items over here and especially for that fishing guide that i'm doing right now is you just can scroll all the way down so you can choose the specific fish that you need over here like for example let's say you need this fish for the quest that i just mentioned at the beginning so you can unlock the formulas for the baits and then there is then it shows you the locations where you can find all these fishings uh, all these fishes so you can get them yeah uh, the only thing was yesterday when i was recording the video the fishes weren't available on the interactive map which they did add in today 
now this is now really helpful for you guys if you're looking for these specific fishes that you do need to um like farm the catch so in every city monstad leeway and inazuma basically this is the symbol for the grafting table if you guys do not know that you just can walk straight to it and of course craft scroll all the way down and then after you got all the formulas that i did recommend you guys to get you have the recipes for the baits now this is the normal base uh, normal bait you just unlock it by doing the first quest but you want to need the formulas for these three and these are also the things that you need all the crafting materials that you need so definitely make sure to get some dendro biomes in inezuma as well as some chicken next is just kill slimes and get the berries so you can do the false warm bait and the fake fly bait you're able to do with horsetail so this is the first time that you need horsetail to craft something so make sure to get horsetails and sacred blooms uh i hope you guys know like the locations of these so this is basically in inezuma if i just can show you like the locations real quick but if you won't find them right away i would recommend you guys to look it up so in this area there are a lot of dendro biomes as well as in this area and if you just run over here and here you should get enough also around the mangukeki there are a lot of other dendro biomes for the sakura blooms i would recommend uh, recommend you guys this area here berries and slimes should be on the map readily available like everywhere and what else was there the horse tails yeah horse tails are pretty much over in this area in stone gate so you should find enough over here for the horse tails all right with that being said you just want to craft yourself like some of the baits so i just want to show that again one of the baits or if you craft like just one of these using one of the materials crafting materials each you already get 10 so you should be very fast you just want to have like a couple of hundreds or just like around 100 of each of the materials it should be enough to get um, all the fishes done. So if I'm doing like 10 of these, I already have 100 of these. But yeah, I do not need any more. So let's go to the next point. After you have everything done, this is like just the preparation part. You want to talk to that guy in Inazuma, which is located um, exactly here like right to amakani island and then you just want to talk to this guy so this one is just another fishing rod i'm not you're not really interested in getting this at the beginning it will have like some additional um effects which i don't want to go over in this video but the grind for this rod is basically even heavier than for the catch for the catch you need six of the rime angle fish 20 of the golden koi and 20 of the rusty coins so you get your first copy of the catch but if you want to get the refinements you will need for each refinement you will need three of the rimey angel fish 10 of the puffer fish and 10 of the bitter puffer fishes so basically how you want to get those is i just want to show you like some footage over here where i did try to catch them and then i will show you like the most common spots that i used getting these fishes yeah but I'd say it is not really possible to do it like in one day, except if you hop between your worlds. So in one day, maybe, or one or two days, it is possible to get yourself the first copy of the catch using only fishes in your own world. But I'd say like it's more one to two days. The special thing here is that um, at the moment, I do not exactly know about the respawn times between fishes, but I assume that it should be around 24 hours or during reset. But after today, my game resetted, not all of the fishes respawned. So I was joining other worlds to do so. The only fish that is kind of special out of the fishes that we do need is the Raimi angelfish. Because the Raimi angelfish only has one location, and that location is exactly in this area these fishes only can be catched during night so you have to change a time or if you're in another world where you can't change a time you have to ask the person if he can change to night time for you so you can get the fishes all the other fishes like 
the uh, kois and the puffer fishes they are readily available in different locations which i want to show you right now okay so the first fish that we need is the golden koi which is basically this one we need um 20 copies of this to get ourselves the first copy of the catch so you can find some of them over here in monstead so just go like over the locations here um i already used that location even before i was finding out about this here under the bridge, the bridge is one of the best locations to get kois in general, as well as this. I found that these two were the best locations. This one only sometimes has kois. Then uh, afterwards, this one also has a lot of kois. It is nearly as good as these two locations, but it is also worth. But you need to farm it anyway. And the last location is down in Inazuma on the new island. Here, other than this, I already, uh, I also didn't find out about more locations on that. And yeah, let's go like over to the next one. So the other one is the same koi. It is like the rusty koi. It looks exactly the same like the golden koi. You also need 20 of this one. And it just um, is like a little bit more blue. So I found some of them on this location. Mm, pretty much like one or two uh the same was on this one so sometimes if you find like a golden koi and uh, not the rusty koi just try to catch the golden koi and then there is the possibility that a rusty koi can respawn i do not know exactly how the respawn works as i already mentioned i also do not know sometimes they're all like fish groups if you like just catch those they immediately spawn during that circle that you're all catching the fishes but for the rusty koi it pretty much has the same locations except that this location swaps with this one and in that island it's like just on the other side yeah but other than that these are like the only locations for the rusty koi the next one that we do need uh, i already talked about is the angelfish i just want to mention that again that is the location for that fish and you only can catch it during the night there will be around three to four different fishes every time you go there so we need 18 if you want to get the refinement rank 5 on the catch so if you want to have it as early as possible you do not get around to join other people's world then the puffer fish has multiple locations it can occur here but i never found one here to be honest but wordpad says that it can occur here so the best location for me was this one there were two to three and they do respawn sometimes then another good location for me was like here which is not even on the world map but i already also found some of the fishes on that spot then if we move to leeway i never walked to this spot honestly to catch one of these but also as i said world map is mentioning this as a spot and these were some two common spots in Monster that I also use. So these two spots, I can confirm that they work and they are really good to get the puffer fish. Now for the bitter puffer fish, the bitter puffer fish basically has the same locations. For me, he was more common than the um, normal puffer fish. So the bitter puffer fish, I was um, at 40 while the other fish was still at 30. So this and this is a very good location for them. Um, Monset in general is a good location for them. Then they do not to seem to appear here, but they are definitely appearing here. So I would say that the hover of Inazuma and the two um, spots in Monset, these two, were the best spots to get the puffer fishes in general, bitter puffer fish as well as the normal puffer fish. And then this location also gives the bitter puffer fish. So I just mentioned that for the other one. He also appeared here. I was pretty sure about that. But yeah, WordMap only says that the bit of a fish location is on here. But it is not here um, in the trade off. So yeah, these are like all the fishes that you do need. I hope I could help you out with that. But because, oh, because if you get all those fishes at the end, you will be available to exchange them for your catch and for your full refinement copies so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys will be successful in getting the catch or catching the catch and yeah um you guys definitely 
can expect a four-star weapon comparison. That was the main reason why I wanted to get the catch on Refinement Rank 5 because I don't think it doesn't really make sense to test the weapon on Refinement Rank 1 when you will get it on Refinement Rank 5 anyway. So yeah, expect a four-star weapon comparison during the next days on Raiden Shogun with the catch. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I see you guys next time. Bye.